Next on this special primetime edition of Apple Valley News Now. It's uh, very disturbing, uh, especially given that we're talking about innocent, unrelated, random victims. A weekend of violence in Yakima, two dead and several others hurt in more than two criminal acts. Our Emily Goodell will bring us up to date. Plus, firefighters rushed to the scene of a wildfire at the Yakima Training Center earlier today. We'll have the latest. Also ahead and within the next 30 minutes. Uh, the call kind of upgraded to a technical rescue because what it was was a subject that was uh, uh, on top of a tanker truck. A man is dead after an accident at a fertilizer plant in rural Franklin County. Tonight, we're looking into what exactly a technical rescue is. Another component too is like a rope bag. Okay. This is a quick rope bag we have. And it was hot today, but will that be the story all week? We're still going to see warm temperatures. However, we do have a big cooling trend coming our way into Father's Day weekend. Stacy Lee's first alert forecast coming up too. This is Apple Valley News Now. Prime time on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner and I'm Austin Reed. Here we go on this Monday. It was a weekend of violent crime in Yakima. Two people dead and several others hurt. Police are still searching for suspects in some of those crimes. First up, a drive by shooting, then police chase, a police chase that left several people hurt. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell was in court today for the three men arrested in connection with this crime. According to court documents, officers aren't sure who exactly fired the shots. However, a judge did agree to high bail amounts for each of the suspects, saying based on the probable cause statements, their actions posed significant threats to public safety. Uh, this trio is a danger to the community. According to court documents, 35-year-old Jesus Torres Jr. was behind the wheel of a GMC Yukon. With passengers 25-year-old Alejandro Alvarez and 25-year-old Rogelio Araguin. Police say they chased a Cadillac to Sarge Hubbard Park on a busy Sunday afternoon when they opened fire, then took off leading all but one YPD officer on duty at the time and other agencies on a more than 20 minute long police chase across the upper Yakima Valley, reaching over 100 miles per hour. Lots of people will put serious risk. People from Sarge Hubbard to Natchez and back to Yakima because uh, these three individuals have to shoot at somebody in the park. According to court documents, Torres in the driver's seat caused two major crashes involving five other cars on 40th Avenue between Ritchie Road and Inglewood Avenue, injuring several people, including a nine-year-old child who was knocked out during the crash and their 12-year-old sibling. It's simply unacceptable to put the risk on innocent people. Three suspects reportedly took off from the crash scene on foot, but were arrested soon after. In court, defense attorney Melissa Derry asked the judge for lower bail amounts. Every individual on the Freeland docket today enjoys the presumption of innocence at this stage. Uh, and again, in this report, uh, it's not known who uh, the actual shooter was, Your Honor. Uh, so I think that's uh, important for the court to take into consideration. Judge Jared Boswell agreed to the state's recommendation of $250,000 bail each for the two passengers. But for Torres, who's facing about a dozen charges, including vehicular assault, hit and run, and drive-by shooting. I'm not satisfied uh, with the state's request. Uh, I don't believe that $250,000 uh, is sufficient to protect the community given uh, the conduct that you displayed or allegedly displayed. The judge set his bail at $750,000. The three defendants are expected to appear in court on Monday, June 24th to be arraigned on charges. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Emily. Now we continue to talk about that crime series in Yakima. 33-year-old Felipe Robles is in jail on a million dollar bail after police say he broke into a neighbor's home in Yakima, attempted to assault a teenager, then fatally stabbed the girl's father. Police say it happened about 1045 Friday night in the 1900 block of Bogus Street. They say a 42 year old man was stabbed multiple times while trying to defend his daughter from the assault, allowing her to run to a different neighbor's home. Robles reportedly told police he had nothing against the man and said he was a good guy, but that Robles quote just did it. It's uh, very disturbing, uh, especially given that we're talking about innocent, unrelated, random 
victims, uh, victim, of course, being a man protecting his own daughter in his own home. Now, Robles was arrested and appeared today in court on suspicion of first-degree murder, first-degree burglary, and second-degree assault. One man is dead after a suspected gang-related shooting outside the Seasons Performance Hall. This happened Friday night while a rap concert was going on inside the venue. Police say a 38-year-old man was walking by the venue just after 11.30 p.m. when someone shot him multiple times. He died at the hospital. No arrests have been made. The Seasons put out a statement condemning the violence and notifying the public that they wouldn't be canceling upcoming events. They also say that they are committed to working with police to host a community gang violence forum sometime in the near future. Well, the Walla Walla Sheriff's Office I'll give you this one. We'll take this. Oh, no, we'll go. You can All right. It. The Walla Walla Sheriff's Office is investigating after several people suffered stab wounds during a quinceanera over the weekend. Authorities responded to the Walla Walla County Fairgrounds on Saturday. Nearly 300 people were at the party when authorities say several fights broke out. At least three people were taken to the hospital. Now, according to the Sheriff's Office, one person was arrested in that stabbing on suspicion of assault, felony harassment, threats to kill, and for brandishing a deadly weapon. Milton Freewater police are investigating a shooting that happened at an apartment complex. Authorities say it happened last night just after 1030. When officers got to the 1300 block of South Main Street, they found 29 year old Christian Angel, who was wanted by the U.S. Marshals. Angel was inside an apartment and it took about an hour before he surrendered. Authorities say they found a firearm and arrested him on several charges. Well, despite the hot temperatures, the breeze did keep the heat at bay. It was nice if you could get in the shade, I think. Yes. Stacey, are we going to see more of that coming up this week? We are going to see a shift in the weather and definitely a cooling trend. But right now, let's gawk at this beautiful sunset we're seeing right now in our Legends Casino Skycam, uh, looking out towards Badger Mountain. Right now, 86 degrees, so still on the warm side, but our feels like temp is 82, so it's pretty comfortable. Sunset at 848. Now, we do have a wind advisory to warn you about. Kittitas Valley, we're going to see gusts up to 50 miles an hour tomorrow. This is going to uh, be very strong through any of those mountain gaps all the way into Moses Lake, Ephrata, and all the way down into the Columbia Basin. Won't be quite as bad here, but still breezy winds. Now, temperatures staying on the warm side through Tuesday, and then we'll start to see a little dip, a little pop back up on Thursday, and then eventually a downward trend below average temperatures heading towards the Father's Day weekend. Very nice overnight tonight. Good sleeping temperatures. Uh, everybody in the 50s this evening, so eventually cooling down. So let's recap. Clear night with some light winds developing. Those strong gusty winds really pick up tomorrow. Kittitas Valley, Yakima Valley, and even into the Columbia Basin. Cooling trend begins on Wednesday, and we're going to see temperatures down in the 70s for Father's Day weekend. Lots of details to get to in my first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. Alrighty, Stacy. Fire agencies around the region have been dealing with wildfire calls all day. One of those fires in Kittitas County right now, burning more than 3,000 acres at the Yakima Training Center. This is the second fire in just a couple of days. The fire broke out just after three this afternoon. It is in the central and eastern side of the training center. Officials tell us the fire is near the river and spread quickly. There are no structures in the way. While the training areas around the fire were evacuated, no one was forced to leave the base. Now we're also learning more about the Pioneer Fire. This is a wildfire that started in Chelan County over the weekend. That resulted in the rescue of several hikers. Authorities with the Chelan County Sheriff's Office say the fire was near Pioneer Creek on Saturday. Several hikers were trapped due to the flames. Marine Patrol responded to that scene. They rescued seven hikers. It was then learned there were three more hikers who needed help and medical assistance. Authorities were able to find that group using a report from a satellite emergency activation and fighting the fire is ongoing. Several trails in that region have now been closed. Let's go to Kennewick where fire crews responded to this small fire across the street from the old Toys R Us building near Columbia Center Mall. The fire was on the hillside just below the Red Lion Hotel. Fire crews responded to the call for help just after 11 o'clock this morning. Kennewick police assisted the Kennewick Fire Department while firefighters sprayed down any hot spots. Thankfully, the fire was able to be completely extinguished with minimal damage. At this time, the cause of that fire is unknown. Well, the cleanup continues at the Lineage site in Finley. The company that's handling the demolition is Signal Restoration Services. 
Today, our crews noticed more progress in that fight. One reason is crews are now working 24 hours around the clock. Multiple buildings are now gone. Leveling is taking place. We also found out that more than 10 investigators with ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, are on their way to continue their investigation. Smoke, however, is still a problem for residents. Do stay with us on air and online for any updates. Well, today is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the American Heart Association. Now, a small group of doctors inspired by a social worker, Marie Wadley, started the organization on this day all the way back in 1924. Wow, the association has helped heart wellness by spreading the importance of CPR and encouraging heart health. Here in Washington, it is involved with legislation for Washington's clean indoor air law and also started Go Red for Women, a program that educates women and others about the dangers of heart disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for women in the United States. Well, after the weekend heat, will we see more of the same for our work week ahead? Stacey Lee is here next with your full weather forecast. But first, a rodeo bull goes rogue. How Oregon rodeo officials stopped a bull that jumped a gate and began tossing members of the crowd. The story and video next. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens, they are lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry, you've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. I think I'm gonna go with a nine iron. I'd suggest a seven. No. Oh. Did you know that if a bird picks up your ball, you gotta follow it? Oh, there it is. I think it's to the right. Nah. Is this it? Nope, not it. Four! 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 Can I be frank? At STCU, we're always here to advise and consult, even if you wanna go at it your own way. Let's see what you've got, Frank. I think we should talk. STCU Business. Partner up. Dishwasher on the fritz, laundry, giving you fits, a water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. It's time. Time to let your soul breathe a little, to feel the sun on your face, and to feel alive again. It's time to dust off the clubs, to treat yourself, and test out your lungs. It's time to get away to the place that's not so far away, Lakeside Coeur d'Alene. Win a dream giveaway at CDA4.fun. What do I love about twigs? The steak salad. It's famous, it really is. We love happy hour. We love the staff, we love the food, wonderful place to be. What do we love about Twix? The bartender. Fred helps you say goodbye to laundry woes with this Whirlpool Top Load Laundry Set. With a removable agitator, choose how you wash your clothes by easily swapping the agitator post in or out. Save $400 on this highly rated top load laundry set at Fred's Appliance. Why stand around a box store looking for help when you're in the market for a laundry set you want selection and service? Fred's experts are here to help. When Fred's advertises it, we've got it. Get your new appliance today. Fly the Northwest over North Idaho's Lake Pend Oreille, Tuesday at 6. 
Welcome back. Four people were hurt after a bull at the Sisters Rodeo in Sisters, Oregon, jumped over a gate and into the crowd during a rodeo on Saturday night. Well, it's something no one wants to see happen. Reporter Kelsey McGee reports rodeo officials say they have a plan in place for things just like this. Look at that bull. <laughs> At the Sisters Rodeo Saturday night, the crowd was enjoying the bull riding event when they experienced a terrifying encounter, sparking a frantic run for safety. After a bull jumped over the fence, escaping from the arena and injuring at least four people. Everybody behind me was just yelling and it was, everybody was just trying to get out of the way. Rodeo is an inherently dangerous sport, and especially bull riding. Uh, but it is a very rare occasion. We've never had it here at Sisters Rodeo. Um, it, it, do, it does happen, but uh, what we do, we plan for it. The rodeo announcer immediately activated the emergency response plan. Get the higher ground. There's a bull out. Get Everybody, the higher ground. Get the higher ground. Open the gate, boys. Open the gate. Fortunately, we just had a great response from uh, our, our rodeo uh, pick up men uh, as well as uh, a lot of the security staff and medical folks to uh, really uh, prevent a lot of other injuries. The bull was safely contained by rodeo livestock professionals and placed into a pen. This is the fence the bull jumped, running out through the rodeo grounds and back to the livestock holding pens. Leslie Lang Rodeo Company provides the livestock for the rodeo, horses and bulls. Last night was a rarity. Um, as a stock contractor, hired by the Sisters Rodeo and representing the Sisters Rodeo. You know, that's not something that we ever want to have happen. After the bull was captured, it was taken home Saturday night. We obviously can't replicate that scenario, but we're going to take him home, buck him again, um, do some training with him and try to, you know, never put him in that situation again. Wow, the final performance of the Sisters Rodeo continued after the escape and as injured people were being treated. Rodeo staff tonight say they are meeting with those who are injured. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. All right, let's talk about something a little more calm now. Uh, taking a peek outside on our Health First Sky Cam here at the station in Kennewick. 86 degrees tonight. Our humidity is low. Our feels like temp is 82. Going to be a very pleasant evening. Now, you will see the wind start to pick up. They've picked up just a couple miles per hour already this evening, but there's a shift in our weather. This ridge of high pressure kept us nice and warm and dry and hot today. We have a weak disturbance bringing uh, more clouds and wind through the area tomorrow, and then that'll kind of break down. It'll be a little bit calmer on Wednesday, but we're definitely going to start feeling a cooling trend and those winds are going to pick up. We still have warm weather to deal with for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, and then we're going to get down to average and below our average. My hot paw alert. Got to remind all my pet owners out there, get them out early. Uh, another hot day ahead, so we've been going out around 7 a.m. and walking our little dogs. 95, that asphalt could be as high as 149 degrees. Uh, little paws can be damaged in as little as 60 seconds. So keep that in mind. Here's what it looks like on our temperature trend. We're going to, as I said, get down to closer to average, and then we're going to start dropping below average as we head into Father's Day weekend. Nice and warm weather staying in the 80s all the way through Thursday and Friday in Walla Walla, and then those temperatures drop into the 70s. Now remember, our average in Tri-Cities is 81. We've been flying above that. We will be right at our average on Friday and then dropping down into the 70s. So a nice little reprieve from some of the heat. There's a wind advisory in the Kittitas Valley. We're looking at 25 to 35 mile an hour sustained winds. Gusts up to 50 miles an hour can be damaging, can blow things around, and it also increases fire danger. So we want to be fire wise over the next several days. Let's take a look at those winds this evening. Not too bad tonight, but again, that real uh, pickup you'll see in the morning. Tri-Cities will be breezy as long along the foothills of the Blues and down the Columbia River Gorge. As the day goes on, everybody's going to be seeing the, those winds increase as that low pressure system moves into the region. So look for those strong gusty winds and even getting into Wednesday, things much calmer in the Columbia Basin, but we're still going to see some breezy winds for the next couple of days through those mountain gap areas like Ellensburg and the Yakima Valley. Let's take a look at our temps tonight. Pretty pleasant, good sleeping temperatures in the 50s, uh, upper 50s here in the Columbia Basin, low to mid 50s in the Yakima Kittitas Valley, as well as the foothills of the Blues tonight. Looking pretty good. Tomorrow, once again, another warm day, lower 80s here should 
be beautiful along the foothills of the Blues. A little bit hotter in the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities. Beautiful weather in the Yakima Kittitas Valley besides those strong gusty winds. Let's plan your day tomorrow out the door. Pretty warm, looking sunny. Temps in the 80s by midday and we'll uh, remain in the 80s through the early evening hours. Seven day planner, there is the big change in our weather. We start to shift with cooler temperatures just in time for Father's Day weekend and an even cooler weather as we get into next week. Tri-Cities, we stay in the 80s all the way through Friday. We'll drop down into those upper 70s uh, for Father's Day. So beautiful days here for the weekend and then a little bit of a cool down as we get into the early part of next week with some systems possible coming our way. So enjoy this nice little uh, stretch of weather. Going to be pretty nice, just pretty windy tomorrow and still on the warm side. So stay hydrated. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. Now up next on Apple Valley News Now, Franklin County Fire District 3 getting ready to ask people to help them get some more funding. Why it's important for the area that they serve next. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. If you think a little change in dinner plans would bother Dee Dee, then you'd be wrong. Let's roll, guys. Good. Hey, split up! Yep. When it comes to dining out, Dee Dee knows how to roll. From all you can eat to the best burger this side of Mount Adams, Mexican food, pizza, or Asian fusion, it's always fine at Legends. Legends Casino Hotel, because fun is how we roll. From real quality that starts in our factory to real performance in your backyard, steel tools are as tough and dependable as the people who use them. This Father's Day, give him the gift that's built for dad. Right now, save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. The savings continue with BuyMart's latest savings book, packed full with hot buys for summer and more. Save $3 on Tidy Cat's cat litter, plus save on everything for Father's Day, including a Troy-built 3-in-1 self-propelled mower. Members save $39, save $13 on Western Chief Romeos, now just $49.99, and save $50 on a lifetime Tamarack Angler 10-foot kayak. Save more now only at BuyMart, your employee-owned membership store. A drunk driver just blew a stop sign and we collided. My vehicle was total. What about the vehicle? How am I going to get to work? How am I going to continue taking care of my family? I contacted Tamaki Law and I told him about what had happened. Tamaki made it very simple, very easy. It was a stress relief for me. If you happen to be in an accident, call Tamaki Law. Dear Triathlon, let's splash through rushing rivers, take on iconic trails, and race straight to the top. What's the point of winning if you can't kick back and enjoy the view? Yours, Toyota SUVs. Toyota is the number one retail brand for 12 years in a row. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Welcome back to the news at prime time. Franklin County Fire District 3 will be asking voters to support a levied lid lift on the upcoming August 6th ballot. It was first brought to voters in November of 2023, but it did not pass. Now, some language is being updated for this next election cycle. Voters approved a fire levy rate of $1.27 in 2018. Since then, the rate has dropped to 88 cents, while call volumes have increased by almost 50%. Current staffing levels are unable to keep up higher call volumes and overlapping calls. Are you confident it'll pass this time? You know, I'm, I'm really optimistic. I'd like to think it does. If not, we'll probably have to go out again and just, you know, just kind of keep out there and keep changing our message, crafting it so that the, the voter knows, has all the information they need when they go out to the uh, polls. 
and, and just you know, on that, we do some you know, analytics and look at what people think about when they vote. If voters approve the lid lift, it will fund one additional full-time firefighter, two seasonal firefighters for wildland fire season, and it will build up a reserve fund or capital improvements at Fire Station 33 right off of Self Landing Road. A workplace accident in Franklin County turns fatal. And up next, we're talking about why technical rescues are a complicated aspect for first responders, what they have to train for to work to save lives. That's up next. Newscasts anytime with Apple Valley Plus on Roku, Apple Fire, and Smart TVs. When you call, they get to work. Machine cut, hand sanded, and custom crafted to order. You dream, we cut and install. Love the home you live in. Welcome to Beaver Valley Lodge, your rustic lodging and event venue in the beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Experience the great outdoors and enjoy the beauty of the mountains as you stay with us on our 50 acres in the Cascade foothills. Whether you're joining us for a wedding, retreat, vacation, or family reunion, we're here to make your stay unforgettable. We make it our goal for you to come as a guest, but leave as a friend. Book your stay today at beavervalleylodge.com. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Why do you Goodwill? Well, there are countless reasons. Goodwill makes it easy to support my ongoing creative projects at home with their affordable items. To be environmentally friendly through upcycling, reusing, and recycling. For the chance to uncover brand new items at unbelievable prices. Goodwill means being economical with my money. With hundreds of reasons to shop at Goodwill, you can feel great about knowing 95.7 cents of every dollar you spend helps your community. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses. This may be in addition to compensation already being received. Smart Law will be hosting a Hanford Workers' Compensation Educational Dinner at their Kennewick office Thursday, June 20th at 6 p.m. To register, call 509-735-5555. Dinner provided. Smart Law, Smart Choice. There's work in you. And then there's chill you. Chill you is more carefree and curious, more present, more relaxed, more fun. Chill you is the best you. There you are. Bring back your chill you with an escape to Coeur d'Alene, the city by the lake. Win a dream giveaway at cda4.fun. Your dream kitchen starts at Floor and Home. Custom countertops handmade for you. This month only, custom select quartz counters start at $52.99 a square foot. You dream, we install. Love the home you live in. Thanks for staying with us. A man is dead after he fell down a tanker truck while working at an agriculture fertilizer plant in rural Franklin County on Friday night. And the original medical call quickly turned into what is called a technical rescue. So I spent the day with Franklin County Fire District's three chief to learn more about the kind of rescue and just how dangerous it really is. This video is from Friday of last week. Around 5 p.m., Franklin County Fire District 3 responded to what first came in as a medical call at Two Rivers Agricultural Fertilizer Plant on Glade Road in rural Franklin County. And employees lost uh, 
track of the individual. When they went to look for the subject, they was found face up in the bottom of the tanker truck. The call quickly got upgraded to a technical rescue. Firefighters say the man who died was 56 years old and worked at the plant. Firefighters told us the man was on top of a semi-tanker truck and was hosing out the truck. This is our gas detection equipment. So we started up. An instance of Friday, mm -hmm. hooked to a rope and lowered into an atmosphere. Employees later lost track of that worker. And so we did a quick assessment, figured out you know, how, where, what the atmosphere was like, what it's gonna take to get into the tank to recover uh, the subject, and, was, and what, the, uh, what the conditions are. No one else was hurt, firefighters included, but the atmosphere the worker was in was fairly toxic. So the gases the man was around could be a reason for his death, or it could have been from the fall. The coroner's now investigating. We, we had to do a, what's called a confined space entry. So we got with our PASCO um, partners and Wall Wall 5, and we monitored the air, we put on the right equipment, we had the right respiratory equipment to go into a small opening. District 3 Fire Chief Mike Harris met with me on Monday to give me a behind the scenes look at just how serious a technical rescue is and what all goes into it. So we carry an anchor and then this anchor, anchor secures here. Another component too is like a rope bag. Okay. This is a quick rope bag we have. We can just either go over a bank or we can throw it at somebody in the water. Oh, yeah, what? yeah, so it's a, it's a really quick uh, to go, go bag that our crew uses. So okay. it's got the, the lighter weight helmet, the gloves. This is, it uh, goes around their waist. It's just a quick rope. But then this is, this is the harness. So this is the harness that the, uh, that the crew would wear, like in this case on Friday. Now we did call and leave a message for the company involved, but we have not heard back from them just yet. Now, from what we saw on scene today, work still continued on as the fertilizer plant was back open. All right, well, elementary students in Pasco got to meet an inspirational pair of athletes today. And up next, the message those two professional soccer players brought to the students, why they say it is never too late to follow your dreams. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. My family's been serving the Tri-Cities for 85 years at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace Stores. And we have some deals we don't want you to miss. Get ready for hot weather. This fan is a steal at $27.88. A grill makes a great Father's Day gift. We have many in stock at great prices. Steel weed trimmers, a great value at $149.99. 12 different Craftsman tools, great Father's Day gifts, only $14.99. See all the deals using this QR code. Come see us at Griggs and the Tri-City Day stores, and thank, thank you, you for, for your business. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Get 3.9% APR plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance through Cadillac Financial. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Here's to feeling at home on mountain trails, playing by the river all day, exploring your favorite off-beaten paths and terrains, or simply savoring your favorite foods. Here's to Subaru season. Experience all our hometown summers have to offer with the new Subaru Outback from McCurley Subaru. Your way home. Get a new Subaru Outback from McCurley Subaru today with 2.9% financing. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. In football, your team can have a bad season. In real life, when you are having a bad season, you can call Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble. Whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. And with tens of millions of dollars collected on behalf of clients, we will find the best solution for your situation. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit us online at quantumlegal.com.
Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. Feel the freedom of the open road and the thrill of summer adventures. Experience the iconic Ford Bronco, where performance meets style. Whether you're heading to the river or exploring the countryside. Stop by today and feel the power of Pingree. Welcome back. It was a celebration in Pasco today as two teams are in the All-Star Soccer Championship Games for Pasco Elementary Schools. Yes, the students receiving more than just a trophy. Two professional soccer players stopped by the schools this morning to congratulate students and inspire them to continue their soccer journeys. Roman Torres, a former player for the Seattle Sounders, and Sebastian Navarro, a player for the Tacoma Stars, telling students at Captain Gray STEM and Robert Frost Elementary Schools, no matter what what happens? Keep working on making your dreams become a reality. It was hard for me to become a professional and the whole time I remember thinking as a little kid, I have to go pro so then I could help the kids. I, I remember thinking that and that was my main goal was I didn't even want to go pro for myself. I wanted to go pro so then I could go back to my community and help them and show them that you could do it. I'm from Yakima, my parents struggle like all of your parents, like I, I'm from the same area you are. You know, the same obstacles you face, I face. Torres and Navarro are a part of Community First Soccer, a nonprofit working to make soccer accessible to everyone. Riley Fitzgerald will have more tomorrow starting at 5 right here on Apple Valley News Now's Good Morning Northwest. Still ahead tonight, we check in with that growing wildfire over at the Yakima Training Center. We'll be right back. You're going to need a new bumper. Did you say burger? Guac. Santa Fe burger sauce. Burger. Jalapeno pepper. Burger. Spicy cheese man. Cheese, Carl's Jr. El Diablo is back. Get a single for $5.99. Get burger. Dear Triathlon, let's splash through rushing rivers, take on iconic trails, and race straight to the top. What's the point of winning if you can't kick back and enjoy the view? Yours, Toyota SUVs. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 RAV4 for just $369 a month. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. If you're injured on the job, you need an experienced workers' comp attorney. Workers' compensation is complex. It has its own laws, doctors, courts, and judges. For years as an assistant attorney general, I represented labor and industries. Now, I fight for injured workers. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell and Hamill. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. It's time. Time to let your soul breathe a little, to feel the sun on your face, and to feel alive again. It's time to dust off the clubs, to treat yourself, and test out your lungs. It's time to get away to the place that's not so far away, Lakeside Coeur d'Alene. Win a dream giveaway at CDA4.fun. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. 
Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for $339 a month for 36 months. Or purchase with $3.9 for 36 and get 2,000 wild bonus cash. Give in to your devilish desires. Scorch your taste buds. It's Carl Jr.'s El Diablo Burger. I'm short on cash. It's just $5.99. Fine. The Carl Jr. El Diablo single, just $5.99. Be burger. Get burger. Fly the Northwest over North Idaho's Lake Pend Tuesday at 6. Checking in once more on that ongoing fire at the Yakima Training Center. It has now burned more than 3,500 3, acres. That fire broke out just after 3 this afternoon. It's on the central and eastern side of the Yakima Training Center. Now, officials say they are doing controlled burns around the main fire. The situation, they say, is improving. No structures are in the way. And while the training areas around the fire were evacuated, no one was forced to leave the base. Of course, those conditions are going to get more challenging. Yes, they are. And uh, Stacy's going to talk about your forecast as we're starting a new week. That's coming mm -hmm. up right after this. Legends Casino Hotel is bearing it all. No, not that kind of bear. The winning gone wild kind every Thursday with over $77,000 in Forest Frenzy cash given away in June. Plus a bad 2024 Ford Bronco 4x4 on June 27th. Just use your Legends Rewards card to pile up entries for your share of 77 grand or even a brand new Bronco. Remember, it's not bears gone wild, but winning gone wild at Legends Casino Hotel all summer long. The savings continue with Buy Mart's latest savings book, packed full with hot buys for summer and more. Save $3 on Tidy Cat's cat litter, plus save on everything for Father's Day, including a Troy-built 3-in-1 self-propelled mower. Members save $39, save $13 on Western Chief Romeos, now just $49.99, and save $50 on a lifetime Tamarack Angler 10-foot kayak. Save more now only at Buy Mart, your employee-owned membership store. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your community Chevy dealers. From real quality that starts in our factory to real performance in your backyard, steel tools are as tough and dependable as the people who use them. This Father's Day, give him the gift that's built for Dad. Right now, save $30 on the FS56 RCE gas-powered trimmer and save $20 on the MS162 gas-powered chainsaw. Real steel. Will went all in for wellness. Patty painted the town red. What would you do with extra cash? The Department of Revenue returns missing money to Washingtonians every day. Easily find and claim yours at claimyourcash.org. When it comes to legal matters, you need someone you can trust. At Morphine Law Firm, we are sincerely grateful for the last five years of trust and support you've given our firm. Your trust and support have been a major driving force behind our mission for justice. We offer free consultations, and we may not always tell you what you want to hear, but we try to steer you in the right direction. We appreciate your continued trust and confidence in Morphine Law Firm. Fourteen point nine percent of American men, eighteen plus, are in fair or poor health. Could one of them be you? Find out more about men's health at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at ProsserHealth.org. This is how we care. Newscasts anytime with Apple Valley Plus on Roku, Apple Fire, and smart TVs. Welcome back. We've been talking about fires this evening, and Stacy, you were telling us weather's getting more intense. I'm concerned because we are going to see winds, especially where that fire is in the Yakima mm -hmm. Training Center. That area, those mountain gap zones, that's where the winds are going to be substantial tomorrow. So that's not going to help firefighters there. Uh, good news is we have decent temperatures. It is another warm day out the door looking good. Don't really need a coat tomorrow. You'll be in the 80s by lunchtime and still nice and warm. Maybe barbecue weather by uh, the evening. So those temps are looking pretty warm. Another day of that. Things change though as we get into your Father's Day weekend and things are a little bit uncertain. The reports are showing 
possibly a big shift early next week. Look at that drop of temperature. Yeah. That's very That's unusual for the middle 57. of June. This is a Father's Day gift for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice, calm weather. <laughs> Tri-Cities looking good. We caught me. It's going to be beautiful this weekend. 78, great temperature. And then a big drop off on Monday. And again, it's a little far out, but we're going to keep an eye on that because we could see a system that could potentially bring some rain, which is okay. We do need that. Walla Walla, you're going to see the wind tomorrow. Be ready for that. And as you get uh, towards the weekend the cool down will come there as well and in Hermiston those winds are going to be even gustier there most of the day so anyone down the Columbia River Gorge mountain gap zones those are where the winds are going to be substantial so be safe out there and try to uh, stay hydrated it's still going to be another warm one I'm enjoying it I love it <laughs> <laughs> so. thanks Stacy and thank you so much for watching you can always find the latest on our website applevalleynewsnow.com we'll be back tonight at 11 hoping your news is good news good night.